Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our research tools and our reverse phone lookup effectively. Now, there's a lot of confusion out there with uh, reverse phone lookups in different websites and teasers and some websites saying, oh, we found something and then it's not really there. And Searchbug tries to take a different approach. What we do is we try and look up uh, the white pages, public records, and a couple other things first, and then it's a, it's a multi-prong approach. But a lot of numbers, there's no cell phone directory, so a lot of cell phone numbers and VoIP numbers are not going to find a name or a name and address from that phone number. We're pretty good with public, published numbers and unpublished numbers, and we have some private databases, and we uh, aggregate a lot of information from all over the web. So we try and have the most robust reverse phone lookup we know of, but nobody can find everything. So that's why we'd use a multi-prong approach. I'm going to show you really quickly here. Uh, I've had entered a Google Voice phone number right here uh, to show you what it's going to do. And it, it's very difficult to get a name from a phone number that's a Google Voice number. A lot of times, phone numbers will get into different public records. If you registered your or used your phone number at a grocery store, for example, for a for a rewards card, that phone number might find its way into a database associated with your name somewhere. Or if you put your phone number on a loan application or a car dealer, you were buying a car and you gave them your cell phone number to contact you or you put that information, that eventually information that would find its way. Um, but with how often people change phone numbers, some of the numbers might get stale or some might, numbers might get old. Or if somebody wants to use your phone number on some document and uh, not their own, or they make up a phone number and happens to be your phone number, it could get associated with your name as well. So there's a lot of reasons there's a lot of mistakes with phone numbers because there just is no phone directory for cell phone numbers and VoIP numbers. So with that, I'm going to use this example, 760, in this document here in our, in our form, and I'm going to click Search. And what you're going to see is that because this number is a VoIP number, we're going to tell you that it's a VoIP number right down here. And we're going to tell you that it's with bandwidth.com. And obviously, we did not find this phone number in the phone books or in public records. So we're giving you a few different options uh, below here. Now, one of the options is to try and find the current owner. What we'll do if you click on Get It Now here is we'll look in public records. We'll look in our database. We'll look for all kinds of paid information from all different data providers to see if this phone number found its way into a database somehow how somewhere from a from a document that was shared and um, that information would have to be paid for. See, we looked in the yellow pages right here, there's zero. We looked in the white pages, there's zero. We haven't looked in public records yet. Now the next step would be to to check for current owner, and if we click Get It Now, it's going to ask us to log in and check for the name of the current owner. So you'd have to come up here and either log in or sign up, or you could log in down here. If you didn't want to do that, you could also click on Hire Professional, Hire a Professional Search for this. Now, this is where a private investigator will use a lot more than databases to try and obtain or do a what's called a deep level search provided by a company that Searchbug owns called bestpeoplesearch.com. Eventually this professional search will be moved here under investigator services, but currently it is not available there. So those are the different options that we offer and uh, the reason for such is because not everything can be found in the yellow pages or the white pages or public records or the current owner. So if you wanted to start a new search, you could scroll down here, and we'll put in our office number to give you an idea, 760-454-7301, and then we'll click search on that. And you can see, now there's a white pages, and this shows one listing, and it shows who we are, and where we got it, and what our category is, rather, and our location, and then you can look at the details for free if you wanted to click on there. So if there were a personal information, if the information came from white pages, the white pages would show, and it would show how many records were in white pages, or if it was in public records, and uh, some of the information may be missing, there may be an opportunity to buy some information there in public records. Or if you wanted to, and you weren't sure this was the actual owner of this phone number anymore, you could click get, uh, get the current owner, and we would verify that using a real-time lookup into a database that would say verified for that owner. And you can click on sample report here and you would see that it would say owner name verified if that information was verified. And we would also give you the actual um, 
cell phone, uh, the type of phone number that was and the carrier if it was verified. So this num this information is good for if somebody moved their phone from AT&T to Sprint, for example, if it was a cell phone and we actually had the information, or if it just said cell phone down here, but we couldn't find the name and you wanted to make sure that the carrier was the right carrier, you could have an opportunity to look for that here. So we offer a lot of different services and you can play with this tool. You can put in all kinds of different numbers and see what the different options are. And uh, you can try the investigator service as well if you think that the number is difficult to find and you really need the information. Investigators can find uh, amazing things. Are They have a pretty good, I would say over a 70-80% success rate for the difficult stuff. And uh, when you need a professional, try it out. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.